Earlier this year, I created a video exploring the Pop! OS Cosmic Desktop that's built on Rust, and I'm currently here on their repo page, where we can explore the tools that they are creating for us, and hopefully this is coming out to us by the end of the year or beginning of 2023. As you can see, the Pop! OS repo and devs have been hard at work making commits on their own Rust applications for their POP operating system. As you notice here, Rust is being highlighted. That is the main language of choice amongst all of these different projects that they're currently working on. Let's talk about a few of them before I run some of those, but before I do, make sure to smash that like button for me. Since the compilation process took quite a while to get these things running, currently they're working on a compositor, a new updated panel or status bar, whatever you know that as, they have an app library, a session manager for the desktop environment, a new launcher, applets, and many more. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out some of these other projects under the Pop! OS repo. But now let's get to previewing some of these new Rust Cosmic Desktop applications or packages. So this is the latest development here on the Cosmic Settings app. So let me run this real quick. And when running it, you'll notice that you get a settings page, which I'll also open up the current one that we're running here natively to compare what they look like. I've shown this in the past, but let's see, since I did this video about six months ago, what things have changed, if anything. This pretty much looks the same as what I found last time, although they have added a new section called saved networks. And currently it does look like they have some clipping going on with the current source project of the text. I'm sure that'll be fixed before long, but since this is of course in testing phases, there's gonna be plenty that happens to be off. As you notice when using the little toggle buttons, they are currently a light blue instead of this orange that they have on the other side. Let's go to navigation. Well, you'll notice another very rounded subcategory menu, and we currently have Wi-Fi, desktop, keyboard, and about in here. Of course, we'll probably have all of these subcategories as well added into this settings panel once everything's done, but currently these are the ones we can explore. So let's check out desktop versus the desktop over here. Notice whenever you click on desktop, it goes down to an icon and now we have desktop dock and workspaces. Those are also available here in the current settings panel. We have dock, workspaces, and desktop. So if we look at desktop, you'll notice much of the same stuff. Again, some clippings occurring, but we notice how the radio buttons are a little different and the text seems to be more predominant. There's nothing that currently subdivides the text. It would be nice to have this little horizontal bar, at least in my opinion, maybe added in between each of these. That way we know the subsections that we have. Also, this color could definitely be changed. It's hard to tell if that's on or off. And that's another suggestion I actually have on the current version. As you'll notice over here, it's just hard to see that that launcher is currently being used through a super key because it's in that dark color and doesn't display too well on the screen. Maybe a blue like they have in the rest of the place would be actually even better. But let's just explore a few of these. We have our dock versus dock over here and settings and setup. Notice the rounded corners everywhere where they had straight edge corners on the old app. Workspaces offers some of the same settings as workspaces. Looks like a tighter fit at the moment. So anytime you have something with more subcategories under it, like the keyboard, then you get subcategories on the side and the icons on the left. But if you don't, it goes directly back into this main navigation or category page like Wi-Fi and about. So that's something different. A little bit of a collapsing menu if you think of it that way. Not too much has changed here. It's still very responsive, which I like. It's actually more responsive than the app that I currently am using. So maybe Rust really lends itself to running some things a little quicker. Hopefully that's the case because they're making a complete transition to Rust with this new version of Cosmic Desktop. This again is something very exciting. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe below and let's explore more of the Cosmic Desktop. I have another build here, which is the Cosmic Panel. So let me try actually running that. No, this is the one I could not end up building because I'm missing what seems to be the compositor. It says no compositor listening. I'm wondering if you have to use their Rust compositor, which I've been having issues trying to build and compile. It's reliant on a few other source packages and libraries, which I currently can't build. So we'll move right along. One other thing that I missed and I wanted to mention is the search bar up top. 
Currently, I don't see an easy way to access the search bar up top here in their current settings. But on this one, if we search for something like airplane mode, it loads super quick and searches through all your settings. That way you don't actually have to find the subcategory. You can just type something in. It works very well. I wanted to make sure to mention that one. Moving on to the Cosmic App Library. Now this is brand new. I haven't displayed this on the channel yet. A brand new build. So I'm very excited about this one. Currently, this is what applications looks like on the system. We can imagine it going to look the same and we're gonna check it out here in a moment but there's something super exciting that seems to be coming with this new applications library. So you have your folders down here, your applications here in the middle, and you can search for anything at the top. Now let's launch the new Cosmic App Library, and here it is. I think this looks pretty slick. You have a nice rounded, minimal search at the top, just like you did before, but you notice around the edges a different color. Well, there's also a different color here, so this seems to be a spot for something. We don't quite know what that's going to be yet, but they moved the default folders over here on the left. What I imagine is maybe you'll be able to add some of your own defaults or favorites here, such as folders or files, perhaps new groups. We'll see, but what's even more exciting is that I think they're going to let us theme this application library, like change the colors for this background. I'll call this BG1, BG2 and perhaps even BG3. I think we'll be able to theme these things. That would be quite exciting to make it our own application library with different colors, setups, settings. I know they have a configuration file right now, which I can check out and show you, but I think that'd be very cool if we do get that option. The search bar works as intended, so if you search for something like disks, notice how it's compressing down information as it goes. I really do like that the icons disappear as you're typing. So anything currently with, let's say, a C has been displayed. But as we keep going down, C, A, now we see calendar, calculator, and so forth. So if I really wanted just the calculator, we can get it down, and it's the only app icon displayed. That's fantastic. I like how that looks. We can also scroll down to get more applications. That's wonderful as well. You can see some area that's been saved for more applications as you install them. This is a great way. I actually like this more than scrolling across from left to right or right to left to get your applications. This just makes a little more sense to me. Well, that's a brand new Cosmic desktop application that I was able to compile and show off. Definitely some exciting builds from last time. It's also super fast. Just like I mentioned, as you're typing, it is just blazing fast coming up with information for you at light speed or what it seems like. Hopefully we can get a config on that so we can change up the colors and style. We'll see in the future, who knows? That's just speculation. Another new thing that the new Cosmic desktop built on Rust is going to give us is a new Cosmic launcher. They are redeveloping all their amazing tools and this one's probably my favorite. So we can tell that the Cosmic launcher looks pretty different in the current state that it is. Uh, it's a lot darker and even seems more minimal. So this is the current launcher. Now, if I launch the new Rust launcher, we can see that it's quite darker, has blue accents, kind of a different highlight as well. Looks very good in my opinion, but let's see how fast it really is. As you're typing, it's insanely fast. I don't believe that their current launcher is quite that fast. So let's see, terminal. You can definitely notice a difference between the two, even though this one isn't quite finished. I'm super excited to be using this. This is one of my favorite applications. And if I turn things up, you can hear they actually added a few sounds in the background. Hopefully you can hear that. I like that little touch. But if I search for something like terminal, let me just try running it. Boom, it runs, great. Let's get back to things here. Run it once more. Let me see if I do some math. So like the square root of four, very good. This is one of my favorite things about this launcher. This is something that macOS has had for quite a while, a launcher called Spotlight that enables you to do complex math. I love being able to do math on the fly in much of a format like you would in a spreadsheet. You can add numbers, take them to the power of something, and it processes straight through the calculator to give you a result. Absolutely fantastic. This thing's working at light speed. I'm super excited about Pop OS's applications and the redevelopment of the Cosmic Desktop in Rust. If you're excited too, let me know in the comment section below. Let's move on to the desktop widget. 
So finally, this is the desktop widget. Not much has been changed here. It just has pretty much been redeveloped in Rust. I don't even know if they offer this anymore in the latest version of Pop! OS. What I'm thinking is they're just creating a generic desktop widget so that they can launch and use a bunch of different ba basic desktop apps. So maybe this is a template for that. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing with this one, but again, just a neat redesign in Rust. I'm not gonna go too far into depth with this one just because there's not much to show. The closest thing I can find on the system that resembles that, if we go to settings and we just click on desktop and let's rerun things right here. If you look here, we have workspaces doc appearance general. And in here as well, we have workspaces doc appearance and I guess a general tab. So I'm thinking again, this is just some kind of a template so they can create more applications based on this. Moves super fast, resizes great, seems super quick to launch. Let's see over here, eh, about the same, I'd say nothing too special there. Also, if you wanna learn more about Linux and you don't know where to start, I do have a checklist and cheat sheet available at learn.savvynick.com. I'll put a link in the description below. I would love to show you the panel up top, but I can't get it to compile anymore because it is too intertwined with other libraries and applications at this. So we're starting to be able to tell all the little visual changes that we'll be seeing. Perhaps the launcher is the best example of the theming that they're giving us, or perhaps the application library. It seems like we will be receiving a completely different redesign of the Cosmic Desktop, which I'm excited for. And since it's built on a completely different programming language, Rust, we can expect Cosmic Desktop to potentially be available across different platforms and distributions, and if optimized correctly, can be extremely fast, maybe even beating out the rest of the desktops, at least with such a heavy GUI intensive environment. It can also be lightweight if done properly, and I'm excited about the rebuild of this whole entire desktop environment. System76 has used GNOME as their default desktop environment for quite a while now, and are trying to move away from it for obvious reasons. The user interface, I believe, will remain similar for the most part, even according to some of the members of System76, but there will be new functions and new aesthetics and perhaps even theming, which I'm super excited about. As you can see, it says no theme config, so it chose some default ones. Maybe that's a hint. Let me know also if you're excited for the Cosmic Desktop. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe below. Hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.